Hi YouTubers, Old Radio Al here. <clears throat> Today's radio is a Philco 42 PT95, or simply PT95, introduced in uh, June of 1941. Shared a common chassis with a number of uh, transitones from that year. It is a transitone. Anyway, you'll find the schematics for the PT-91, 92, 93, 94, 95 are all the same. It's an All-American 5. He uh, uses Loctal tubes. has a handle, of course. You get that now. It's for carrying from room to room. It has a built-in loop antenna. This one's... Uh, back is in fairly good condition. It has a couple of... I think I could do something with that. I think I will. Anyway, it's a nice little radio. I found this earlier in the week. at a uh, local antique store. The seller often has uh, radios from estate sales. He always puts this uh, little blurb card on his, uh, on his radio. It's kind of nice. Gives you some information about the radio. As it says, the radio does work. And it did. I uh, brought it home and plugged it into the Variac, and it surprisingly it played very well. All original. This radio had never been touched inside, and it was in good condition on the outside. I recapped it, of course, but I was impressed how, how well it played to start with. It's obviously uh, well taken care of by its owner. Cosmetically, I used uh, Howard Golden Oak Restore Finish on it and then protected it with uh, the feed and wax. The handle and the, and the feet had, uh, the paint had yellowed with age. I said the knobs, and I repainted those. The, the grill, I just cleaned. This uh, is again the, the tinite plastic material, and I mean that's a good indication that this uh, radio was well cared for. These and see these really warped and distorted. I mean, if you look on eBay, you'll probably find some radios, maybe not a PT-95, but others with these tenite plastic grills. Uh, they're so distorted and out of shape, you just <laughs> say, well, pass this one by. It's a good indication that the radio is cared for if you store these in a garage or attic. And be sure they'll be all twisted up. I have the radio plugged into this clock. There's an outlet on the back, on-off switch. I thought you might be interested in seeing this clock. As you can see right there, it says Philco on it. And you can see the second hand sweeping around. This is a Philco 8B56 clock timer from 1938 called uh, an automatic control clock. 
what you do is you plug the device into the outlet on the back and around the, the face there are a number of pegs that you can, you can pull those out and set up to 10 hours in advance the time that you want your radio or whatever you have plugged into it to come on. That feature doesn't work on this anymore. I haven't been able to figure out how to get that to work. Uh, maybe I need to send this off to Valveman41 for repair. He's a wizard with clocks. It does, however, keep great time. I thought you might like to see it, a Philco branded clock. It was made for uh, Philco by GE, General Electric. It's a nice looking clock, really nice veneer on it. The pegs are a little odd, but from a distance it just looks like some decorative thing. Okay, let's uh, let's give this radio a listen. It's a Philco PT95 from the 1942 model year, powered through a Philco clock. Hope you enjoyed seeing them both. More radios on the way.